On today's episode of Tomatoes Gourmet Kitchen, <laughs> we are gonna be making a giant Milano cookie. In case you don't know what Milano cookies are, they're basically those like little like sandwich cookies with chocolate in the middle, but they're like shaped like this. Here, I'll show you a picture. Look at it. <laughs> looks great, looks delicious. Well, I'm gonna make it massive, giant, like this. It is gonna be massive and made from scratch. That's a scratch. So keep the channel on this episode of Tomatoes Gourmet -o Kitchen and see if everything actually works out. <laughs> Cause I'm kinda scared of all. Play the intro! Walmart, I don't know her. I'm so classy. So let me show y'all the ingredients I'm gonna be using today. We got some butter, sweet cream butter. I love talking like a British person. They just can't seem to remember how to pronounce the letter T. <laughs> They're like, butter, water. Then we got some chicken feet and some eggs. Some salt, fresh from a salty bitch's asshole. Some heavy whipping cream, vanilla extract, baking powder, <laughs> sugar, a whole lot of flour, and a whole lot of chocolate chips because y'all, in the middle of this cookie sandwich, there will be chocolate ganache. So before we start cooking, y'all, in case you didn't hear, I have a movie channel where I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, and now movie collectible reviews as well. So any kind of movie collectible items that I get to add to my collection, I will review them as well. So go subscribe to I'm Not A Movie Critic, cause I'm not. Also, I'm on Cameo, so if you want a selfie style video from me for yourself or a friend or a loved one, cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato link in the description. Let's start cooking, y'all. So first things first, I have to soften my butter. My butter is not softened enough. It's quite hard. You potty minds, you heathens, get Satan out of your brain, okay? We are talking about butter, not genitalia, so shut the hell up. I mean, shut the heaven up. So what I'm gonna do is put all my butter into my beautiful microwavable glass crystal bowl. <laughs> it's made out of pure diamond. I'm just gonna unwrap my butter and pop all my sticks into the microwave just for like 30 seconds or even less maybe. Um, I don't want the butter to melt. I just want it to get softer. 30 seconds, that's it. Y'all, I feel like the microwave has a beat to it. Did you hear it? Okay, my butter is nice and soft. A little bit warm, but not melted. So now I'm gonna add some granulated sugar straight into the bowl. And I'm just going to cream the butter and the sugar together until we have one nice kind of soft, creamy consistency. Okay, that creamed together so beautifully, y'all. It wasn't even that difficult to like stir it. Usually my hand feels like it's about to fall off after I mix something like this. Today it just feels numb, which is like an upgrade. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. I think that's good. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little pinch, <laughs> a little shake shake. I'm just gonna mix this in quickly. But every time I fart around you, that looks perfect. So now I'm gonna add some chicken fat in this. This is Cindy and this is bitchy. You treat me like a piece of trash. That's perfect. So now I'm gonna get these mixed in completely. They're gonna make everything a bit more liquidy. You'll see. Your stank bitch ass face says it all. Eyes watering from the smell. So now I'm gonna add some baking powder. This is gonna make the cookie actually do something in the oven. Perfect. So now the final ingredient that I have to add is the flour. And I have to add a lot. I hope it all fits in this little bowl. <laughs> this is gonna turn everything into a doughy consistency. Okay, this bowl really is a bit too small. Okay, so. <laughs> I am just going to go straight in with my gay hands. Do you guys it straight and then gay? Happy Pride Month. Oof. 
Oh my god, this is gonna spill everywhere. What am I doing? I don't have a bigger bowl right now. They're all dirty, and I don't want to wash them! Okay, I can't. I need a bigger bowl. So, um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and wash a bowl, and then we shall proceed. Okay, we have a big, clean, red bowl. Let's just pour all this in. Oh my god. Okay. You need to accept my rotten trash gas, or you can go straight to hell. Okay, now we can actually dig in, y'all. You can sniff my ass and munch on my dirty crack. I'll be with you never, cause my fart is food. Okay, guys, this cookie dough is now perfect. It's the exact consistency I want. That's like that whole phobia thing. It's like called something whole phobia. What's it called? I can't remember now, but are those people also scared of buttholes? So now I'm gonna take some parchment paper, lay it down right here, and I'm gonna take my cookie dough, and I'm just going to slice it right down the middle, just like that, and I'm gonna put half of it back into the bowl because we need two giant cookies, not just one. And I'm just gonna start rolling it out. And I'm currently trying to go for kind of a rectangle shape. It doesn't have to be perfect at all um, because we're gonna fix it afterwards. So now I'm gonna take my cookie sheet and I'm just gonna plop this right on top. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> just like that, perfect. And now that it's in there, I'm just going to take my little knife and start to cut around the edges. Just like this. And I'm gonna make little curved ends like a Milano cookie has. Okay, so that looks so good. So now I have to do that whole cookie dough thing again. <laughs> Play the music! Did you know I've got guys lined up waiting to sniff my fart? I don't even want them to because they'll just break. Okay guys, both cookies are ready to go into the oven. They look incredible and I'm so excited. I'm gonna let them both bake completely and then we will move on to the next step. Okay y'all, so it has been hours. <laughs> I had to let my cookies cool down completely because when they were like kind of hot, they were so bendy and so the limsy, I could not move them. It was too risky, so I had to wait, but now they are cooled down, and I'm ready to make the chocolate ganache. I'm gonna add half of this bag of chocolate chips straight into the bowl. I think that's good, y'all can see in here. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take some heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna pour it into this little container. I don't know why this little tab thing always reminds me of a nipple. It isn't even shaped like one, it just reminds me of one. <laughs> By the way y'all, if you hear a loud noise, that is my dishwasher. I had to wait so long while the cookies were cooling that I did dishes. Like that's how bored I was. <laughs> so I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave. Okay y'all, this cream is super hot. I'm just gonna pour it all over my chocolate chips, just like that. Ooh, just until they're kind of covered up. I think that's perfect. And y'all, I'm not gonna touch this. I'm gonna let it sit here for five minutes. During those five minutes, the cream will melt the chocolate super nicely, and then I will mix it all up and it's gonna be duck -a My farm might smell like a hard boiled egg, but you should still love Okay guys, I think the chocolate is melted. I'm gonna take my whisk and just start mixing it up. Oh my God, here we go. Ganache is the prettiest thing ever. Once it's mixed, I cannot. Oh my god. I'm not ready. I'm not ready! For better or worse, for cleaner, for stink! My smell doesn't need to be tamed. Oh my god, it's happening! Do you see the chocolate coming through? Oh! You can sniff my ass and munch on my dirty crack. This is chocolate ganache. Look at that. Oh! Oh, it's perfection! Ida Garden was found itching her ass. This is everything. Okay, so now 
it is time to actually make the Milano cookie sandwich. So this is gonna be my bottom layer. I'm just gonna turn it over so the bottom side is up. Perfect, oh that is so golden brown and beautiful. I'm just going to drip this ganache. Oh, not too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna start spreading it around. <gasps> just like so, y'all, this is a legit Milano cookie. I am shook. Usually, my um, DIYs don't turn out this pretty, but I really think I slayed it this time, y'all. I'm happy with the warm ass gas. I made way too much ganache. <laughs> I thought that I would need more than this. I don't know. It's time to put the top cookie on. One, two, three. Please don't squeeze out. Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, it's done. Oh my God. First things first, I have to get my thumbnail. You know this. Now, let's taste test it, guys. I'm ready. Oh, um, oh my god, it's so good, but the edges are a bit more cooked than the middle. So, I really want to try that middle so I can get the full experience of Milano and not like an extra cooked cookie. Here we go. Oh my god, sliced in half, y'all. Oh, okay, let's go in, bitch. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's not be eating caca. Are you kidding me? Mm. What in the Lord's name? No, I have a skid mark on my face. <laughs> One of the most delicious DIYs I've ever made. This is legit perfect for like a birthday party. You could make it and just slice it up. It's so delicious. It tastes like a Milano cookie, but even better to be honest because the cookie's thicker. I slayed this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't look at myself. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um, Go subscribe to my brand new movie themed channel. I'm not a movie critic. <laughs> go check it out, link in the description. I'ma go clean my face. I will see y'all next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Walmart, I don't know her. I'm